haven't seen you there. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was really cheesy, but I couldn't resist. So uh, when I started to make this video, I didn't really know what I want to do with this and what this video is about. And now that I am, it's the end of the week and I saw all the footages, I see that I kind of trying to, you know, to find myself again. And, and this is what this video is about, that physically and mentally I'm trying to get back on track after giving birth, after having a child. So I am kind of finding that Barbara that I lost three years ago, but obviously I also, you know, I am a new person because of what happened in these three years. So this is what you're gonna see. I hope you will enjoy, I guess. <laughs> we stopped with the, the, the previous vlog with the rain. And now we're starting with the rain. This is autumn for you. I mean, it's also it's coming. <laughs> I was listening to uh, my uh, astrologist uh, uh, on an uh, on an audio file, an audio file with an audio file on an audio file. That's why it was super loud. There's a huge rain is coming and now I'm going, you're never gonna guess where I'm going. I'm going to my first massage. Well, I had massages before. Uh, I think, uh, oh, did I? I never had a full body massage. It's gonna be the first time, but it's also gonna be really exciting because it's gonna come after giving birth and you know being at home with the baby with the toddler for two years and you know my body is in a terrible status i really hope that she's gonna fix me so much that i will be able to do sports <laughs> because i feel that like everything is stuck and uh, like i tried i was doing yoga for I think he was pooing on in the bus station. Here is this kind of thing is never happening because because it's a like a, it's a good neighborhood. It's like you can tell that he was sick because there's this you know I think I told you about this diarrhea vomiting uh, disease that is going around now and I think oh my god poor old man. And you know, me who, who has IBS, I know how is it when you need to shit uh, like strongly. I know how is it. It's, it is terrible. It's a terrible feeling when you don't have toilet uh, available. I never did this. I was, I a little bit shat myself, but, but just a little bit, not so much in Venice uh, when I went to school because I used to go to uh, the Venice Academia I was a student there and uh, I shot myself uh, on an island which is eventually school <laughs> but it, it was not that much but it was it was it was really really scary but, but it was like nothing basically um, anyway so <laughs> we are here we are here in this really straight, small street to our massage place. Scusi. Um, so yeah, I still have like half an hour, so I have a lot of time. I bought some drink and I want to finish listening to my astrologist, which was I telling you, uh, sorry, I'm going all over the place, but I really, I can't, this is how I talk, like this is again something that I, um, like I don't want to upload this, this is, I don't have any idea what I'm doing here, I just started it, because I thought, I, because you enjoyed it so much last time. I found an astrologist, my friend, uh, uh, did, did you hate this kind of stuff? Do you hate this? I, I can talk about this thing for 10 minutes straight, how this is annoying and how this is not helping at all 
and it's not just about that it's about uh, this one is it was i was able to drink i never buy uh, plastic bottles it's really 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 rare that i buy them but once once i do it may, they make me crazy because they you can't drink because they are like moving so I, you have to hold them so you know two, you need two hands and when you are a mother you ha you don't have two hands you have to do things that you would need like five hands and then they added this extra thing and I feel like I never throw away just like this a bottle, especially not without the cap. So for me, this is like, it's so absurd and so like um, upsetting that people, because there are certain people who are doing this, that throwing away because of those people, they are punishing everyone because there are like a small amount of people who are throwing stuff. So they are punishing everyone. I feel like a bad child in the 90s when the, when the, the teachers were using this kind of shit on us. Like, like so one of them, one of you were loud or whatever. So all the, all the kids are going to make a test. It is a terrible parenting. Uh, I'm not going to talk about this more. The point is that... Uh, my astrologist, that's where I was. My astrologist. Uh, I found her, uh, my friend. My friend told me that she's really great. So, and I felt like, okay, I can't afford therapy, but I also want to invest some, you know, and I need some help and I, I want to invest in, you know, knowing myself better. And then, and I and I need some, you know, push, and I need some help about some things about my personality and and stuff. And there are things that I already know, and I did all the work, I think, and I am really getting better. But there are certain things that I'm still not not like, for example, like I used to be really unorganized, and and uh, I'm much more tidy, and I'm because you know I'm a Gemini, so. I'm like all over the place. I'm a I'm an air sign, so you know I need freedom, and that is a really good thing, I think, and I really love that about myself. But because of that, I'm a little can be a little bit unorganized and stuff. And I learned that learn uh, I learned to be organized from Mauro, and I I I am way better in that, I think. But there are certain things that I'm still uh, struggling with about like what people think about me and stuff. And that's why I like these videos because now when I'm talking, I don't care. Like I'm, I'm not thinking that I'm going to upload this because I don't have an idea like, okay, today I'm going to do this video. So I, this is what I have to tell. And you know, I'm just free talking. Like I don't have any script. And I think that is good for me that I'm not thinking what I have to tell you like there's no like information or whatever or uh, you know like this is what I have to talk about I'm just like free talk if you can follow me you can if probably you can't it's possible that you can't follow my the chain of thoughts especially if you're a man because I know that this is terrible the way I'm talking I know but uh, uh, this is <laughs> this is how I talk um so where was I? Oh my God! So yeah, so there are certain things that I I need help with, and uh, and I want to understand more about myself, and I hope she will help, and that's what I was listening on the on the radio, and that's why the radio was so loud. That uh, there's this astrologist. I sent her my birth uh, date, and it was weird because she didn't find my chart. Like you have to send. Uh, a couple of dates that was important in your life for example uh, you know my son's birth um, our marriage with Mauro or when I moved to Italy or the day when I moved to Italy or you know stuff like my father's second marriage so there are certain things that are you know obviously you can see on on your chart horoscope chart and uh, so I was sending her these and she told me she can't find, you know, when she's putting together this drawing that I born in 420. She's saying that she sees 411 and I was like, oh my God, like what? What do you mean? Like I did born in 420, like my mom wrote it down and she was like, okay, but do you have like a, a documentation 
that the hospital gave you and I was like no there was no such a thing uh, uh, at that time obviously wrote it down but I we don't have that it's not in the birth certificate uh, so I had to write <laughs> to the hospital where I born in 88 which hospital doesn't exist anymore because it was 35 years ago so uh, but I wrote to the hospital which is next to it so which is like the one a basic I think that's one hospital there I don't know because I didn't born in the capital of Hungary it's another city and so but they said okay uh, we need this 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 I send it to them and they did send it the the certificate and it is saying or the documentation and it's it is saying 420 so my mom was remembering well let me check the time in the window okay my mom did remember well uh, and she also wrote down because I born with c-section so she also wrote down that that uh, they brought her to the surgery room in 410 so I thought and I'm feeling this that at I don't know if you care about all this story 411 was the moment when they opened up my mom and that's why the astrologist sees that I born in in 411 because that that uh, is you know when when I when the passage of me coming out was open I think this is how I see it I don't know if maybe it's just an artist way of 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 seeing this but I totally feel that I don't know if you cared about all this story I don't know I really find it um, you know interesting I don't know it's a it's a I don't know I always find these kind of details interesting so she's got she's working with that Oh wow! Well, mm. These are these are amazing. These are little sausage bites. And there's some cheese in it. And my fav one of my favorite snack here. Look at that's not true. But from the supermarket. We taste. There's a. They put different cheese than usual, and it made me wonder if I got, I'm getting poisoned or not. Why well, I'm gonna be naked in the massage place? You know, it's gonna be fun to um, freaking be on a massage place and feel that, that I need diarrhea. Anyway, uh, I really hope she's gonna fix me up. No. Anyway, see you after. back and good as new i <laughs> unfortunately there was no uh face uh, massage because that's a different uh, thing that they are doing next time i will try that too it was awesome it was really 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 nice it was super relaxing like mega relaxing and uh, oh yeah i I was a little bit sad that the back, she was not working on my back more because it absolutely needed. But what she did is still, you can, I can feel that is my more like airy. I had a scrub all over my body, which was already amazing. And I felt like, you know, the blood circulation starts uh, in my body and it was already amazing. How am I supposed to go out from here? Okay, I just had to turn back the 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 internet if uh, Mauro was calling me or someone. Alberto, not Mauro, Alberto. Eventually. So I am so relaxed. I feel like I never been this relaxed in my life. <laughs> I feel so relaxed. I don't know if there's any change on my face, 
my body like so first of all I got the scrub that they, she scrubbed all over my body which was I thought like ah, I'm not gonna care about this thing because yeah why I would care like I want the massage but that was already a kind of massage and it was already like um, like yeah as I said that the, the blood circulation started all over my body so it was like really really nice already and then I had to take a shower and then I felt like my body is so soft oh my god like I am scrubbing sometimes myself but not like not everywhere and not like this also I'm way more gentle I thought that I should be more gentle she was not gentle I mean she was not rough but like I felt like she's actually scrubbing out the the first the, the upper layer of my skin it was really nice so I'm so soft now I'm softer than Alberto it's insane after the scrub I took a shower and then she was doing the the massage in another room then there was a light and a really soft music I took a, a video for you uh, it was really it was like really like gentle and yeah it made me like really relaxed or the massage on my body and it was like yeah I really feel a little bit like levi levitated like like a bread that you're making in the oven this is how I feel like <laughs> or like a cloud I'm not saying that she took out all the pain and suffering that I felt in these uh, two years but for sure she took out a lot I actually I absolutely recommend to every mother to do this once a month <laughs> because yeah it's uh, because the pain that we are uh, we, we are experiencing is, is really something that needs to be taken care of first with therapy for sure but second with the with the, yeah with massage is amazing anyway take care and see you in the next video or something <laughs>
amazing they are really really beautiful i don't know if you care about this kind of stuff but they are i hope the the people here doesn't see me showing this but these are really oh, what is the camera here these are gorgeous like they are so so beautiful i bought also a white one and i also bought a, uh, um, a sketch marker that I also need uh, while I'm sketching. One of them is a little bit bolder, one side, and the other one is a little bit thinner. And uh, see, these are these are really good when you are like I'm making the sketches for the um, for the paintings. Like I feel that I need that, and I bought some paint. A red one that looks orange here which is amazing oh my god it looks so orange here uh -huh. it, hopefully it's just the light is weird i bought i'm oh, sorry i bought a black one and the blue and the green one because i was out of the the green one this is not exactly the one that i'm using hopefully it's still gonna work well and i bought uh, some fabric paint that one is I need for, so I want to sell some, uh, my idea is to sell some uh, clothes on Winted that no one is buying, but I want to sell them. So say I am selling already, I sold a lot of clothes of mine, but there's are ones that no one wants to buy. And I think if I'm paint on them, like make them unique and you know, cool, then people will buy them that is the idea that you know i create a new unique piece and i think that's a good idea and i and i did that i did that with the you know bags like this one i did that but i don't want to buy bags just for this purpose because for the environment it's not really good to do that so i thought i'm gonna you know paint over my already used um, second hand uh, clothes and then I'm gonna, you know, give them a new life. And that's how, that is the idea. So I don't want to buy new bags because that's, yeah, that's not good anymore. So, okay, we're going to Ikea now, that's it. See you in Ikea. Yes. Oh my god. Okay. We are another day later. Doing sport is amazing. Oh my god, if you're not doing sport You don't know what you're missing. I have my apple with me. I already ate a banana. I swam I was swimming. That's why I'm red and I'm proud of it. You know when I was a kid. I was really uh, I really hated after the gym class that I I am red and now I feel honored and I feel powerful that I'm red I don't look stupid, it's not about it. I'm like, my body was working and my body is able to do this. I don't know what to cook with. 
Um, wait, I'm not gonna eat banana when I'm talking. So if you're not doing any sports, you have to start it like immediately. I know this is something that we all know, and and I always realize it. No, it's not true. Like I know it in the phase of when I want to do sports and I still like, uh, I can still like have, you know, thoughts that make me not go like, ah, oh, but today is so gloomy today or today I'm so tired and or today, you know, you, you have some, you always have something to say that you're backing out. But that's also fine, you know, sometimes it's, it's okay to back out. Sometimes you are tired, you have to listen to your body. But sometimes you're just like lazy or I'm just lazy and I know, okay, I have to go. And it's been like a month, three weeks that I'm like, okay, now I have to start. Now I have to start, now I have to start. But I was also trying to be like patient with myself and, and uh, it's like, okay, I had a really rough two, three years. I have to like, let my body heal I let to I have to you know rest before I do the exercise which is also you know something that is good for me but I look, I look stupid I don't know so this week I didn't film anything just the after celebration dance when I was running this week on Monday I went to run uh, if you know me Running, I hate running. Running is terrible. It's like every part of my body is saying no. But it's the easiest one. Like you don't need a lot of preparation. Like you just have to put on a good bra and a good shoe and you're good to go. So, and you can, like I can do it around, uh, around our house. So that's the easiest, fastest way. Like, okay, like start to do exercise. Like if you, I want to come to swim, it's like, I need to pack, I need to organize, I need my card, I need to... So there's so much thing. Even if swimming is my sport, like water is where I, I'm thriving, I feel amazing. I'm a Gemini, I really need to be elevated, I really need to be like what water is doing that is like making me feel uh, weightless and I, like that I'm levitating literally I would like jump out from a plane but I'm too scared for that my cousin is doing that and I don't know he's a Gemini too also anyway so um, so um, it's been so I uh, yeah I went to run the run went terribly I ran two kilometers <laughs> I ran two kilometers and uh, really, really slowly. It was like 20 minutes or something. It was terribly so slow. But I, you know, I it was like, I have to be, oh my God, my head is terrible. Sorry about that. So but like, I have to be patient with myself. I have to be, you know, really calm because I can injure myself because it's not like I left out a couple of months uh, uh, not doing sport or a couple of weeks. It's like it's been years that I did normal actual exercise like I have to be Really conscious about it be really slow You know try to warm myself up try to stretch at the end. So I was doing that it was hard everything hurted uh, My legs my ass were, were hurting But I did it and I felt amazing after that and for two days after that so on Tuesday and Wednesday I felt, felt so great I was so much more patient patient also with Alberto I was thriving I was doing so many things like probably you, you saw it and uh, uh, yes and but I was like okay I want to do three like my goal is to do every day some physical activity yoga swimming running or whatever uh, but of course you have to start I have to start it really calmly slowly and and that's what so I was like okay should I go today to swim no 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 wait 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 
Um, and because I washed my hair on Monday, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna go on Thursday to swim. I know, wait, today's Thursday. Yes, so I'm not gonna go to swim on Wednesday because my head is still fine. So I went to swim today and it was it was amazing. It was really interesting. It was really um, interesting because I realized okay the start of the swim was terrible as I said it happened before that I uh, I skipped a couple of months like two or three months of not doing swimming or some exercise and then when you're restarting it it is really hard like it is always really hard and um, you know your body needs to like get uh, back to get used to the movement again but this time oh my god I thought I'm gonna die I, it was so hard the first 300 meters everything hurted and and it was like uncomfortable and like tired I get so I get I get tired like I stopped after 50 meters okay my glasses my mouth was um, uh, swim glasses is terrible so they had to adjust it and etc but 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 it was like oh my god like okay because I didn't have a plan how much I want to swim usually I used to swim to thousand meters I don't know my dear Americans how much that is in miles I'm gonna write it down for you um, but and that usually is like if I'm like really calm in 50 me 50 minutes one hour I swam it I swam it but if I'm like in a good shape 45 minutes I, I did it this time I said okay I'm not gonna pressure myself we'll see how much I can swim I'm not gonna for sure swim 2000 but we'll see how much I, I do when I was doing this 300 meters I said okay I'm doing 1000 meters so half of it and then we're gonna be fine we're gonna get back on track i'm still really young swimming is my sport like my body is for this sport we're gonna do it don't worry and then after 300 meters something changed and i felt exactly th like three years ago it was exactly like that it was still tiring but it was like okay and i was like oh my god so i just had to warm up because before that I didn't actually need to warm up like what you're 20 something you don't need to warm up I mean yeah of course you have to warm up but it's it's not like that you don't feel that much difference but this time I absolutely felt it so it the thing clicked it was still really tiring but like I was like okay I can absolutely do more than 1000 so I did 1500 I could have did the 2000 absolutely but i was like no this is the first time i have to be patient slow slowly and i also realized how much confidence swimming is giving to me like this is again something that everyone knows and i did know this like sport gives you confidence but i never actually experience this strongly that it's true like i i was i was doing this and i felt you know the adrenaline the all the hormones that i'm getting but i also my god my back is really good oh jesus it feels so good i feel so good oh my god my body it's not great still of course but i feel i'm getting back my body like it was before the pregnancy oh my god it's gonna be such a good journey it's gonna be such a good journey so it gives me so much confidence like because i'm good and in, in good in this and of course like running also gives me confidence but it's in a different way because i'm not good in running i'm terrible in running running gives confidence in a, in a different way it gives me confidence because I'm bad at it and I'm still doing it and I'm still like I'm doing my own you know path like I did these two kilometers I'm I'm the boss I'm amazing but with swimming I am good in it so it gives me another kind of confidence like yes I, I am really good in this so 
and and when i'm uh, you know when i'm watching you know like i'm passing the other people that is also like boosting you boosting me and and especially when i can pass men in my age that is that is amazing it's the best <laughs> it's the best and <coughs> <coughs> and also I'm sick so I know I know I shouldn't uh, uh, do sports when you're when I'm sick but like I have to I have to like I don't have to like for, it's been weeks that I'm saying that I'm not going to to swim and, and do sports so I'm not that sick I'm just having a little cough anyway uh, so because in these three years all I was watching or in these two years I was was watching that when I, when, you know, when I entered into a parking lot in a supermarket with another person, which was usually like with a man in my age, and I had to take out Alberto and da 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 And in this time, that person, that guy went to the supermarket easily, just get out of this car and went inside, made me so angry, like... Because it shows how patriarchy is 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 is, is like I, it just reminded me of the patriarchy, and it's so nice that I'm now like adjusting my feminist uh, necklace. I didn't do it on purpose, purpose. So it it gives it it. I felt like that this is this is what patriarchy is, like we are going to the same place, the same time, but with a different background with the different possibilities like he's gonna enter easily to the supermarket while I have to str struggle I don't know yeah I have to struggle like to take out my son and you know because I'm doing three things at the same time why men in my age just get there get out of the car and go and do the, the supermarket shopping while I have to also take care of a two-year-old so <laughs> so when I'm uh, passing next to these men in the swimming pool, it gives me a lot of joy. Sue me. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I am right. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really, it was really, oh, la la, the light is great. It's really, um, it was a really nice experience. Uh, that's it. I think that's what I wanted to say. See you. So go to swim, go to run, go to do your sport. That's the... And I'm going to keep continue doing that too. No. See you later. I was thinking to like make a video about uh, because recently I started to watch a lot of uh, art vlogs from artists from different artists. Mostly the ones that I found was like young girls, uh, but like young like that they are still going to the university, so they are still learning and studying, and uh, it's. It's really interesting, like, they are all, like, there's two groups that I saw. The two groups are, mm, like, illustrations, illustrators and illustrating, like, mostly cute, nice, really good uh, designs and unique stuff. And the other group was like basically hyper-realistic or like like making mostly portraits and, and and trying to mimic you know the reality and uh, <clears throat> this is mostly the two groups that I found maybe there are others but this is what I found and 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 I think these are the, the most 
common ones that people who are not artists and doesn't uh, they are not um, consuming art they don't know not, not mu they don't know much about art this is the kind of art that they are uh, accept people usually are accepting because as art so what I, I always you know struggled with and, and I was always you know battling with this idea because I don't believe that um, I don't believe that this is this is the only way to make art. I think there's a lot of ways and and I always uh, and I, ne I never wanted to like mimic the reality in this way uh, because for me art is, is most more about self-expression and and you know like putting out there what you are feeling and stuff and those are never you know perfect in the sense of how these um, pictures were made were made I don't know if this makes sense but I think this is really important to talk about because I think mainstream media and mainstream um, uh, the mainstream world is is mostly uh, focused on this kind of art, the ones that are perfect and mimicking the the reality and 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 those are amazing. Don't get me wrong, they they are they are amazing. Like someone has this much patience to study and and retry try and practice practice something that is uh, yeah it's it's really hard but for me what ha what but it's i'm not going to give you now the definition of art because i don't think that exists or you know you can have your own version of what you think uh, it means but um the way, for example, I, I am doing this, what I'm doing now, is something that probably if I go to an academic um, univer art university where I went, to the, the painting department, uh, they would probably fire me immediately <laughs> if I would paint like this. Um, and. Like I'm, I'm not using the brush in the way how I should. I'm, I'm like experienced, experimenting. I'm thinking about what this art piece is going to be about, and 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 that's how my 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 arm is is moving. You know, my hand is moving in that way, and. Uh, and which is not pretty in the sense of of uh, uh, of how usually society thinks about pretty. I don't know because the brush strokes are really wild and it's not you know clean. It's like dirty and messy. But it's it it's like this for a reason, and that, that reason is that this piece about and this series that I'm working on right now is about like motherhood and becoming a mother and how hard is it, which is messy and and not clean and and it's it's dirty. So um, I think there's a lot of different way to to work and to paint and to make art and I don't think that uh, I think if an artist is a real artist which is these are big words that I, I usually don't like to use but then it, that artist is thinking about every movement what they are uh, doing and uh, and then it became become art Maybe, I don't know, maybe this is also not true, hard to tell. And while I'm like doing this, I also like <clears throat> fighting against my, you know, the idea that how I learned what is beautiful, what is perfect, how 
you know, what are the rules of of painting and because that there's in, like we we grew and we learned this kind of beauty. I also have to unlearn this. Anyway, I'm gonna focus on this now because I don't know if this makes sense.